Hello everybody and good morning from beautiful sunny Sri Lanka. What I want to share with you today is what for me has been perhaps the biggest groundbreaking breakthrough in my guitar journeys. And this is something that is not just going to be like a crazy strong fast forward button on your guitar improvement curve, but it is also going to let you determine exactly where you want to go instead of just fiddling around, learning a bit from here, a bit from there, and getting somewhere. So instead of that, you are going to direct the boat, and direct the ship, and decide where you want to go. So let's begin. This is what I call the four steps of becoming the ideal future you have. Okay, so first of all, there is a very important paradigm to break here. So while most of the buzz with setting goals, especially in January, is looking only one year forward from now and where you will be one year from now. I think that guitar-wise, you can make a lot more progress if you are going to think in terms of five years forward and where you want to be. And this was what for me was the biggest breakthrough. Because one year, you can definitely make a lot of progress. But five years, I'm sure that you can agree with me that this is a lot of time. and no matter who you are and where you are and even if you don't put that much time into the guitar regularly i am sure that you can agree that five years from now you can be somewhere completely different on the guitar and this is exactly what opens up the doors to the wildest imaginations of who you want to become and what you can possibly achieve and this is the entire essence of this so the first step out of those four steps, and this is the most important step, is vividly, with no boundaries, think with yourself who you want to become in five years. Just as a guitar player, if that future ideal you, five years from now, was sitting right now in the room next to you, what would you want that guy or that girl to be able to play for you so that you're going to love it and feel so good hearing it that you're just not going to want that this person will ever stop playing because it just sounds so good. And obviously it does sound so good to you because this is the future you and this is your, all your musical tastes and the ideal you and what you can become in another person. So this is basically just super improved you. So, go ahead, this is your test. Imagine that person and think really closely. For example, if you are really into playing songs and Bob Dylan songs and pop songs and whatever and you just want to be that perfect song player who plays everything perfectly on time, who can add finger style riffs, who can add all kinds of spices, who can beautifully sing along to it, just the perfect song player. For me, for example, someone who comes to mind in this direction, who can just entertain people for hours, just playing songs, even just with a guitar, is for example John Mayer, and many, many other musicians that I see on YouTube that are not that good. But this is one direction. Another direction, for example, is if you want to be a really, really, really incredible lead guitarist and you want to go to the local blues jam sessions or play with your band and be very big with your band, whatever it is, make it personal to you and, you know, just imagine yourself playing those wildest solos all on time, all the notes on spot. This is one direction. Another direction, if you, really, if you are really into jazz and you want to be able to play just by your ears and by remembering from your heart the hundreds most popular jazz classics, jazz standards of all time, just playing them effortlessly. And you see yourself playing those fancy chord shapes, not even thinking about it, playing beautiful chord melody solos on top of it. Whatever it is that you want to do, think about it, imagine. It. Really see that person in third person, feel this person in your room, and this is you. And what helps a lot is if you are even sitting down, open up a Word document, just start typing. Even you can divide it by different genres of what you want this person to be, and how you want this person to play, what songs you want him to play, 
and what kind of ports, what kind of things you will see. And this can be really, really big in helping you. And for me, I personally have a document with about six different pages of exactly what I want to be five years from now. And every time I open it, it just brings so much fire into my heart. And it just, especially when I open it before I sit down with the guitar, I'm just thinking, yeah, I am definitely going to be that person, why not? And then you sit down and everything just feels much more natural. You feel like you are really advancing towards that place. And of course, the, the specifics can change later. Our musical tastes are dynamic. So even if you write something and it's a bunch of these kind of songs or this genre, and then later you develop to something else, just it's all good because that's the beautiful thing that our musical tastes are dynamic. But it's only going to change from something that you love to something that you love even more down the road. So it really doesn't matter. But have that vision of the ideal future you as who you see yourself from right now. So that was step one that everything else builds. Now, for now, let's keep moving on and I'm going to describe to you the rest of the steps as I see them. Step two is once you have that big ideal future you, now is the time to get more concrete. So we have our ideal five years vision of ourselves, which is beautiful. But now, in order to actually make it happen, we got to find a starting point. So if we take the jazz example, if you said that you want to be able to play the hundred of the jazz classics that you love the most, how about picking just several that you will focus on in the coming several months, and get even more detail than this, and pick just one or two, and say, these are the songs that I'm starting to work on today or these are the solos that I'm starting to learn by ear and really get down there. So that's what you want to do and this is going to be your starting point. You can even say, okay, two months from now, I know how to play Fly Me to the Moon perfectly and sing it perfectly, not having to look at the chord chart, playing a beautiful chord melody solo on top of it and you know, whatever it is, it speaks to you. So be more concrete about what you can start doing Okay, my friends, it's time for step three. And in step three, what you want to do is to really not just see in third person how that ideal future you will be, but let's go with something easier to imagine right now and easier to really feel. And this is you in a few months playing those first one or two or three goals that you first put to yourself in order to get there. This is something a lot more tangible because you're not that far away from there. So what you want to do is to really see yourself, but this time not just in third person, but also in first person. Really feel how your hands feel when they are on the fretboard and you are just effortlessly playing Fly Me to the Moon or whatever it is. See how it looks like from first person, your eyes on it, and really just feel Think how it would feel like if you already know how to play that tune. And from here, take those feelings and also move them to that ideal future you in five years. What was maybe in the first step a bit harder to see. Now that we have some more closer goals, take those feelings and also see in first person how you will be five years from now when all the things that you are going to do. And this is so important because once you really see it from first person and it's easier for you to imagine it and feel it, this is what you will feel that really gives your subconscious the command to actually start doing it. And this is personally where I started feeling the most improvement every day. I was like, whoa, I'm actually getting closer and closer every day to that five year future vision. So this is step three. Feel, see, first person, start from the closer goals, move on to the five goals. Step four, my friends, 
let's make sure that this actually happens and you don't forget about it just in a few days and write down the things that you said that you want to practice. You can either do that in a physical notebook or you can also do that in an app. For example, I like to use the app called TikTik and create a daily recurring goal with my guitar things that I want to practice and all the little things that I want to practice as subtasks. This is what really works for me. Now, of course, don't beat yourself up if you don't get to everything every day or every few days. Whatever it is, whoever you are and your schedule, what works for you. But the point is to actually make sure that whenever you sit down on the guitar, you don't forget the songs that you said that you want to work on, solos, whatever it is, if you also want to add scales or other exercises, put it there. And make sure that whenever you sit down and practice with the guitar, you know what you want to work on. A bonus tip here is to use a metronome, because a metronome is really, in my opinion, the number one tool in getting your playing to that perfection, to that effortless performance that actually sounds so clean. And in the subtests, you can also always write the current tempo at which you are completely feeling comfortable with playing that piece. And it should start super slow at around 50 and then build it up from there whenever you are practicing with the metric. Okay, my friends, this is it. The thing that you want to remember the most is remind yourself of that vision of the ideal future you. Keep that fail with what you wrote down about yourself. Keep it somewhere where you see it often, for example, right on your desktop. And when you read it, try to do it at least, at least once a week. And when you read it, don't just skim through it, but really read it and feel it in your body, how it will feel when that future you, five years from now, would be sitting in the room right with you in what he is going to play or she is going to play. This is it, feel it. And you're going to be blown away with how your improvement rate is going to be five times, 10 times faster. Really, that's what I've seen on myself. Give it a chance and you won't be disappointed. Goodbye my friends and good luck.